there are many Christological titles for Jesus that can be found in the Gospels. But especially in the Gospel of St. John. John chapter 6 is a chapter that has 71 verses. Two parts of the Gospel of St. John we find Jesus doing miracles. He's walking on the water. And then Jesus multiplies the loaves. And then the latter part of John chapter 6, Jesus in the synagogue of Capernaum gives a marvelous discourse. This is called the Bread of Life Discourse, in which Jesus reveals another dimension of his very rich personality. Jesus says this, I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. I am the bread of life. Whoever eats my body and drinks my blood will have a everlasting life, and I will raise him up on the last day. Whoever does not eat my body and drink my blood will not have everlasting life. This undoubtedly was one of the greatest gifts that Jesus left us before he underwent his passion and death. At the Last Supper he took bread and said, Take and eat, this is my body. Take and drink, this is my blood. Do this in memory of me. What was happening was Jesus was realizing the prophecy that he made in John chapter 6. He was instituting the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, the sacrament of his body, blood, soul, and divinity. Therefore, we should have hunger. We should have hunger even more for God. Jesus says in Matthew chapter 4, after having fasted 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. The devil comes and tries to tempt him to turn stones into bread. And Jesus says, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. May we have great hunger, hunger for the word of God, but hunger for Jesus Christ, the bread of life. Amen.